Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, if you remember last time, we were in this this gallery and we looked at this painting and and, and this alien it like aliened out of the painting and then it was coming after us. So now we have to get away from it, I guess. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm really tired, so this may not end well. But I have coffee. Weird coffee. And then that's good. The alien alien you know, like like in the movie Alien where it comes out of the stomach that it's what it did out of the painting. I'm not making this up. <laughs> yes, every time yeah, it says enter madness. It says that at for, for every chapter. I love that about this. Because that's what this is, is madness. So are we ready? Are you ready? Because I'm not ready. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, load game. Alright, I'm going to move that out of my way so I don't hit the coffee accidentally. And we're going to be ready to move. Okay. This might take a while. Oh, we're going to see the whole scene again. Okay. Oh, goody. We get to see the whole scene again. Yeah, that gross. I see, I told you it aliened out of the painting. It looks vaguely alien like, too. Although that was the shambler. I wonder if I can go that way. Because he is behind me. Hide in a closet, press E. Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Maybe? Can I use a dagger? I cannot use that dagger. <laughs> Never heard alien use just a verb before. Well, now you have. Alright. So I'm guessing I need to take a dagger. But probably not that dagger. Because I feel like there were lots of daggers. Oh boy. We have to watch the whole scene again. I am. We're gonna have to watch this whole scene every time. I'm sorry. Oh, hold to skip. Okay. That's better. What the hell was that? Alright, let's still go over this way. So let's go to this case. 
Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. I mean, maybe? It seemed like a good idea. I'm gonna consult my diary first. Let's see. Oh, I have skills. Working on psychology. Okay. What the hell was that? All right, let's see if we can find a different dagger. Can you hide from the thing at all like you did in the... Um... I mean, I can hide in a closet. Let's use this yeah. one. Maybe I can use this dagger. Oh, maybe. Okay. What the hell was that? Can I stay crouched to go over them? Oh, I ran the wrong way. Damn it. I'm just gonna let him kill me. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. My sanity goes if I stay in here too long, though. I'm gonna guess that if I find the right dagger, it'll just 
do its thing because I don't have any buttons to press to like attack it. Does that make sense? What the hell was that? You looked up the answer, so let me know when I want- Am I anywhere close? Do I need a specific dagger? I do need a specific dagger. Okay. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. And when I find said specific dagger, does it just do its thing if I encounter him? Or is there a button I press to um, kill him? Because pressing E does nothing. I'm trying to stab the wrong what thing. What the hell was that? Stab the wrong thing. Oh, the painting? I need to stab the painting? Hey, Scald, how are you? So hide, get the red dagger, hide again, and stab the painting. Okay. I'm gonna go with octopus Down. one. Maybe I can use this dagger. Do you see me? Ah, oh, shoot. Dude. Not nice. <laughs> I'm good. I'm a little tired. Um. But I'm good. We're, we're trying to not die, but we've died like ten times already. Um. Azerbaz I thought this was a shambler. Is that his actual name? Or is the shambler just the name of the painting? It's probably not his name. Because you just. Okay. Hey, I don't know. Sometimes I think you just know things. And I'm okay with that. Alright. What the hell was that? You know, some of the Lovecraftian monsters. To the extent that I can spell them. It's behind me already, really. Damn. I'm gonna punch you in the face. What the hell was that? Oh, 
down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Ha! Damn it. Wrong dagger. This dagger didn't work. Okay. Oh, just kill me. <laughs> Alright, so it's not the dagger that looked like an octopus. Fuck, is the dagger I want in that room? Or is it in the other room? It's one of the daggers in the room, but I can't tell from the walkthrough which dagger it is. Okay, that's fine. There's only like four choices, and we ruled out one of them, so there we go. What the hell was that? Oh, I didn't mean to actually stand up. Alright, let's take this one. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. Nope. Damn it. Okay, not that one. This dagger didn't work. You don't see me? Catch me before I get up here. Oh, not that one. Oh, dude. All right. Okay, or watch the scene just for funs. Okay, there's that. What the hell was that? Maybe I can use this dagger. Damn it! Not that one. This dagger didn't work. Where'd he go?
Nope. Okay. Damn it. I have to use a specific dagger. Yeah, I got that. I'm gonna die. I think the only one we haven't tried is the one in the back corner, or in the, on the back wall. I think. What the hell was that? Dagger, dagger made of two tentacles, not eight. Okay. So not that one. Shoot. I'm just looking. Two tentacles, not I'm still gonna try that one in the back because that's the only one I don't think I've tried yet. What the hell was that? Oh shoot, I didn't mean to stand up. Damn, maybe. I can use this dagger. That does not look like tentacles, I don't think. But we'll try it. Nope. Damn it! This dagger didn't work. Oh, shit, he's right there. <laughs> Language I'm becoming of a streamer. <laughs> Sorry. This one? Down, maybe. Although I'm pretty sure I, I tried that. One. dagger look like? Sent me a picture. You read my mind. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm not sure which case that's in, but thank you. What the hell? No, it's not the one directly in front of us. The one on the right side, maybe? Let's try that. No. Even if he kills me, I'm gonna look. No. No. It's not in this room. I get across the hall. Uh, 
that it? Or that one? I know he's gonna kill me, I just wanna look. Maybe it was that one? Looking at this picture again. Yeah, okay. So it is in that second room. Alright. Alright. What the hell was that? We got this. We can do this. Oh fuck, he's right there. Ah. Really, dude? Sorry guys, I have a foul mouth today. I apologize. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> um, on mod view maybe? Maybe I need to let him see me come in here. Down. Maybe I can use this dagger. Oh, shh. it's right there. I don't know if I had the right one or not, or if he got me before it worked. I'm thinking I had picked the wrong one. There, I did it. <sighs> All right. I don't think it was that one. What the hell was that? Damn. This dagger looks different. Oh, he said something new. I think I have the right one. Yes! Die, beast! Die! Um... 
What's happening? What's the matter with you? Um, that was two achievements <laughs> from the beyond and the thing on the doorstep. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, it's you're right. a dream. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Oh yeah. Um I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I I think so too. She doesn't believe you. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary... Hey, Freya! You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. What is Word Up magazine? It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. You don't know. <laughs> you just leave the creepy house, dude. Just leave it. Just the next line after it. Oh, okay. Let's see. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins, as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to the Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a, a visit. Oh. <laughs> Guess I'm not familiar with those songs. I get much points this time. Where is the bookseller? Oh. 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 Oh, yeah, here. Oh, we met the shambler. Simple glance in its direction caused me to lose some sanity. But he almost stabbed his own hand. Oh boy. This is not going to end well. Yeah, painting was just uh, weird enough. Okay. Inspect the bookstore. Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. This practical work written by Sigmund Freud for psychologists described the techniques of analytical interpretation of dreams. 
The analysis must follow several rules, especially that of free association, a principle announced by Freud at the end of the 19th century. It treats dreams as a way of revealing buried desires. I cannot believe that this theory is applicable to my nightmares. Yeah, probably not. An old diary. Astor declared himself to be the prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to the voice in his head because it holds the truth. Looking at all the things. Somebody really should organize this bookstore better. History of Darkwater, a Puritan colony led by the Reverend John Wickwood, settled on the island during the 17th century. There's a typo right there. Uh, they named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, Manor the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. Oh, hello, Skull. How are you? Oh, there's another room, but I don't want to... Here first. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Its followers place truth on the same footing as a religion. These Tibetan writings are the origin of the esoteric movement founded by Hel Helena Bl 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 Blavatsky at the end of the 19th century. The creator of theosophy would have drawn extensively on the texts of this work, but no one has ever been able to consult them. I thought they didn't exist. This book discovered in the nameless bookstore on Darkwater could be m as much a fake as irrefutable proof of Blavatsky's sincerity. Put your light away. Handbook of Anatomy and Dissection. Precise and illustr as precise and illustrated with as much detail as the first volume, this book focuses on healing surgeries specific to malformations and motor disorders. I'm just learning all the things in this library. Oh, I missed one. And even a few years back, it was possible for a single practitioner to know all the medical knowledge of his time. This book, which concludes the series, shows that it, this is now virtually impossible. About 10 renowned doctors took part in putting together this collection. Oh, we know even more. Yay. Another handbook of anatomy and dissec dissection. The least that can be said about this book is that the title is well conceived. The illustrations of human anatomy and dissection methods presented are illustrated in great detail. You have to be strong, have a strong heart or the detachment proper to doctors to, to consult its pages. Enough said. <laughs> they don't want to look into the creepy painting. There's 
there's a symbol on that safe. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna look in the other room first. What happened here? Oh, I can reconstruct something. Good, we like those. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? The window. Blood. Seems like amateur work. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? Alright, my guess is it's in the other the room. It's gonna let me go in here. So it's out of that safe I found. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? A sloppy one. What killed all these animals? Those are animals? Oh, that is a rat. Okay. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Oh, I have skill points? Oh no, I have sanded. Telling me a different sanity. It was on this one. I don't know. Okay. Clue is that the bookstore burglar came in through the door bit further some knocked over objects allow the trail to be followed to the back room there the mess next to safe confirms the person's aim however there's no material evidence to support my hunch as as to the identity of the burglar charles hawkins did indeed appear to me as well as the star symbol on the door of the safe I cannot determine if the presence of sarah hawkins in my projections is the result of the unconscious work of my mind or whether it proves that the case the case obsesses me. All of the above. Oops. Oh, all my books I picked up. Okay, so what did he put here? Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Page seems to be hidden here. It is, it is possible to read. If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this place of reality in order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she is still of this world. The following message is of a capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine 
and hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that that reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver it, its contents to the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. The content of the safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that, rep that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. All right, so we need to find three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Uh huh. So we need to find three cylinders. Oh, those desk drawers are highlighted now. I can go in there. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Um, yes. What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose is to push back the force of the Great Old Ones were engraved and at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. So now we gotta find the artifact. Life and study in Greek is biology? I mean, okay. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff I can look at now. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Book of Spells supposedly written by the legendary King Solomon. It contains various rituals of invocation and rituals of curse. <laughs> yes. Where, where life and study meet in Greek. Yes. That is the clue. How many volumes are there in this collection? Those are nightmare lyric poems. Another volume by Arkham Editions. An opera. Hey, it's... What? Eh, eh. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. So you can say that every time I pick up another Arkham book. How many volumes are there in this collection? Oh, did it? I didn't even notice. Hey, didn't we talk about Blavatsky already? Which one was that? That one? Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions. Oh, it does. A a never as of author. Yeah. And other horrors. Good job, Scald. How many volumes are there in this collection? A lot. Oh, 
Another volume by Arkham Editions. Arkham Editions? Never heard of them. <laughs> hey, Fancy, how are you? That one's title was Things That Should Not Be. Hi. Cylinders that Drake hey. tried to hide. I found cylinders. I should perhaps listen to them. I played Scream twice so far. Ah, oh, that's that's true. So they were behind. Oh, I guess it was a drawing. Maybe I don't know. Oh, I got a couple of those too, but my hair's blonde, so they kind of hide. else I can catch. No, no, no. Yeah, he dies in the purple. A kind of chalice. Hey, it's the Holy Grail! No. Goblet seems to be very ancient. It seems to be made of gold and decorated with real precious stones. Do the rubies and sapphires make up a specific motif? The hair isn't in the budget. That's alright. Gray air, hairs add character. Did we read this one? More dark water history. Oh, I can read. Oh, okay, I can play the cylinders. Okay. Oh, listen. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from- I was right, it is the grail. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Can I listen to the next one? Oh. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham Editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Well, okay. The queen has little protection. Now what? Oh, we have to open the safe. Okay. So the clues for the safe combo were given on that cylinder. Right. On the third cylinder or on each of the cylinders? And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, 
set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their white dark queen? Soldiers. So red gems, I white queen? I see our number dwindling. And my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. The red gems, white queen. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. And then Azathoth and Other Horrors. Okay. So do I need to... Maybe? Yeah, that volume number? So what does the Queen... The Chalice of Knowledge. There's five red rubies, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's five rubies. The queen has little protection. Um, the white queen. So, one, two, three, four, five, six? There's six pieces around the queen. Is that right? I don't play chess, so I don't know if they're all protecting her or not. Oh, protecting of the other white pieces. Okay, three. Three. All right, so we have five, three, and then that volume was nine, right? Refill my oil. I believe it was this one. What did Drake say about this collection? Yeah, nine. Let's try that. Um, five. Three. Validate. Yeah, we did it. Now, don't like raise the dead or anything, please. Why'd you open the book? Opening the book was a bad idea. See, I told you. Opening the book was a bad idea. Now there's a giant green eyeball. Yep. Haunted paintings, now haunted books. But we do here in Cthulhu. Alright. 
night, the Riverside Institute, the, na in the nameless bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of the an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the latter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. A book covered in human skin, ew, lied inside, irresistibly attracted the, the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body. He haunted everything. That is true. Book covered in human skin, though? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It is another type of leather. It's just bad. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Oh, Mr. Blake... Can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Oh wait, I'm I'm playing the nurse now. Okay. Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? <laughs> you two are obviously related because you just said the same thing at the same time. What can you tell me about him? <laughs> he was highly agitated an hour ago. That's true. We were about to we're tie him doctor. down when he fell asleep. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. Unless they're talking about the nurse I'm talking to. Uh, tell me about his symptoms. What are his symptoms? His temperature has been going down. His skin losing its color. His body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry out, and I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. Where is he from? I don't recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh. I see. Do you have other questions? Um, let's Show me his profile. file. That... That's not possible. Don't tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Examine him. Very well. I'll examine him. Thirty-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupal tissue. Lord, this smell. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin, tender at the touch, slightly sticky. Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. 
So, Doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Parasites. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. Supernatural What did parasites. you find? Um... I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier, he seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. He's a freaking fish. In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified, not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? He's turning into I'm an sure octopus. I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man I mean, has something could. inside him that shouldn't be there. Maybe. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. Body is I mutating. almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. No. This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowden, may I know what you're doing exactly. to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your Bullshit. imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? <laughs> oh. These are alarming symptoms. If we don't act, he'll die. Do you believe that? I'm not as convinced, you see. I even think this man has a strong chance of completely healing from his ailments. No, Doctor. This patient isn't himself anymore. He's dying. He's turning into an really? octopus. What do you mean by isn't himself? He's changing. His physical characteristics, they are more animal than human now. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man Donna? that have you overreacting. For this man and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. Ooh. Was that a threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. 
My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Do they always have German accents, though? I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. What I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something from us. And I need to know what that is before I take a chance exposing him. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. I'm gonna have to sneak into his office, aren't I? Remembering the villain from the second Cars movie. Eh, yeah. Oh, I can't go to that one because I'm not Pierce right now. Ah. All right. So let's go back to the case. I have to get into Fuller's office. Okay. What's that? This place draws you in and never lets you go. Yeah. Alright, that brings me out to the hallway. High security unit. Alright. You miss the awkwardness that follows responding to the staff with you too when they tell me to enjoy my movie. Yeah. Well, you can do that in your own home. Um, just talk to yourself and tell yourself you too. It, it's it's fine. It works. Hey, Fever. What's he doing here? Hey, Fever. I know that's not what they mean. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. <laughs> Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Good luck, buddy. No, not hello, fever. Hey, fever. Get it? He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? Okay. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. <laughs> um, I'll allow it. <laughs> Sorry, somehow that, uh... It got auto modded. <laughs> uh, 
That is true, especially now because most people just say leave it at the door and you don't hand it to people. What was the term I permitted? Yeah, I, I, I don't know why it, it chose to auto mod that. That, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll just sleep a bit more. Okay. Yeah, we get that every once in a while, too. If I weren't the type of person that obsessively, like, checks the app to see where they are, I wouldn't know. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Oh, Irene Sanders. We know her. <laughs> that must be it, because it held yours, too, Freya. I have permitted the term dong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. Game, Coco. Game. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, because you get your groceries delivered, don't you? Yeah, hot groceries are bad. Thought describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute, as well as the treatments administered to her. Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest she needs. <laughs> oh, ding dong with a hyphen is a loophole. Good going, guys. Mrs. Sanders? Hmm. Alright. What did Cat do to her? I blame Cat. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. <laughs> Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. He's all twitchy. What is the boiler room key doing here? I don't know, but let's take it. The key to the boiler room. Not where I expected to find it. Can you take it? The key to the boiler room. No, okay. Not where I expected to find it. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Um, the creepy things going on down in the basement? That'd be the cause for all their trouble. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. Is that all I, oh, there it is. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Um... You did good work. The tranquilizer has kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, Doctor. And as to his weight loss? I'll prescribe an antifungal treatment for his dysgusia. In the meantime, feed him intravenously. It'll be done. 
Oh well, yeah, we helped save somebody today, maybe. Alright. Hawkins wing. That seems oddly appropriate. Where is the office? That's my question. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... Well, that's it? Okay. I don't want to exit. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Oh, hey, I know you. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Um... I thought we trusted each other. Really, Marie? Can you swear to me that you're not intending something reckless? It's because I respect you that I won't lie to you. <laughs> Is there something I should know? You... better tell me about your symptoms. I have nightmares. They keep me awake, every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. Oh, I bet they have. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse, then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Um, uh, where is... Dr. Colden. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Good to know. This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? File is strange and incomplete, and the detail and treatment is not given. It does not respect standard practice. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. The, the staff here at this hospital has a very wide range of accents. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. 
Okay. Please. The fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. Alright, woman. Alright, there's his office. I kind of want to explore some more first. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Well, that seems like a good idea. <laughs> Hashtag diversity, yes. Takes me somewhere else. All right, hold on. Let's explore in here first. Reference book of medical sciences. Dictionary of the work references in alphabetical order all the medical sciences known and practiced in the modern world. For each of the entries, the major works and the names of the reference authorities are listed. I'm guessing when I go back to being Pierce, that'll up my medical know-how. I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Uh, okay, nurse. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? But she didn't have time Dr. for Colden. me. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. All right. Crazy lady. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What up, Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, secondary objectives now. Or distract Donovan and cut off the water. Okay. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Alright, so I can't go that way. How do I shut off? No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. To that old witch, Donovan? Listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and Pseudoscientific work by Cesare Lombroso correlates an individual's morphology with his criminal predispositions. The seriousness of the study and the accuracy of the demonstrations can deceive an uninformed reader. And the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well. 
At least we won't have to clean for a while. You know, just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. All right. I need to use the little gamer's room, so I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. You go in the bathroom? Oh, that's where we were. We were already in here. Yeah, because that's that guy. This is where we started. Dr. Colden? Okay, get out of the way, lady. Secret Sciences. This is a very interesting book aimed at a wide public. Demonstrates how non-recognized sciences sciences have influenced modern medicine. Magnetism, grandmother secrets, Chinese acupuncture, hypnosis, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have contributed to a certain extent to the enrichment of medicine at the beginning of this century. Okay. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Okay. Oh, yeah. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Okay. Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Okay. That's where we've been. I'm guessing I can't exit. There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. I figured. Alright, so somehow I have to shut off the water. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. We know that's not the case. There's the boiler room. The door to the boiler room is locked. Now can I get the Where key? Where did I see that key? Ah, oh, yes. The office in Block B. Let's see if they will just let me pick it up when I was over here before. to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. 
Oh, I'm sure it won't be that easy, but we can try. And we can hope. An ugly looking boiler. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Um, one of these over here? No. Hmm. Find a tool. Nothing here. Pharmacy in there. Do we find anything tool like anywhere? She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't know she was dead. This is a pointless room. Alright, if I were a tool, where would I be? Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest! Everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth, thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. Tool chest. I have no desire to call tool chest? for help. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, it made sense that it would have been that tool bag that was like right there in the boiler room, but I couldn't pick up any of those. So we'll just circle around until we find something else. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Just sleep a bit more. You do that.
Oh, there's a hidden clue in here. Aha! There's my tool. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Go back to Elizabeth. Sorry, Elizabeth. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet defective I'm the one plumbing. who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Last, the missing files must be hidden here. The Stendhal syndrome, of course. This is where Fuller really? found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Particularly rare mental illness, subjects display mental disorders linked to exposures to a work of art. Okay. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Of course it is. Alright, but I don't know how to solve it yet, so we'll come back to that. Do I know how to solve it? Alright. Wait, that's the... Do I know how to solve it? Looks like you should be able to solve it easily. Yeah. Probably. I feel like it's the same book from Yeah. I was thinking it's the same boat as Let's try it. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Okay. So, which way do they need to be? Facing, I guess, is the question. Or is it just this one? Oh. 
Oh, one affects the next one. Okay, so if I want that, let's say they all need to face out towards me. I've unlocked. <gasps> oh, or they all face forward. Files. I was right. Cylinder hidden Fuller's office. He recorded his thoughts about one of the many psychoanalyst sessions he submitted Sarah Hawkins to. Well, all right then. That was really easy. And there was a phonograph somewhere. Maybe we could listen to that. Oh, right here. Conclusions, session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the problem. Yeah, you were correct. Good job. Hidden clue somewhere in here. Right there. Why is Ethan on medication? Another one in here. Where's our shoe in the drawer? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. Hmm. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. Where's my other hidden clue? I think I can crouch really low. Hidden clue, where are you? The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I'm right, the charge was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the This finger, finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? She's an odd, odd dude. They must remain hidden in plain sight. Alright, how do I get out of this dream? Yeah, why keep a finger? <laughs> yeah, good point. Oh, now I can look of at the course. shoe. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. Yeah, that's yeah. I must go back to the basement. Honestly, the finger doesn't surprise me. There were so many weird things. The evidence garnered in the Hawkins drawing room raises questions as to what became of the parents' bodies. The discoveries of cold in the office of Fuller reinforce this conviction. Sarah Hawkins was moved from the crime scene by none other than Dr. Fuller. Even more significant, the director of the Riverside Institute obviously had a strong obsession with the artist. 
The content of the cylinders recorded by the doctor proves his interest in the young painter. Summaries of psychoanalysis sessions as well as blood tests confirm the fact. In one of the cylinders, Foley clearly states that he has hidden the body and personal effects of one of his patients. I understand clothing, maybe some kind of weird organ. Yeah. I, maybe he just really wanted her finger? I don't know. I've learned in these type of games just to go with it. Alright, let's get out of here. Go down to the like, yeah. Where was that door? High security. Yeah, Cthulhu is kind of all over the place, and that's what, that's what random, yeah. This isn't going to end well. I can already feel it. Look, blood. That's tasty. Oh no. Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. What? I'm not sure I completed my objective. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Um... Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? I'm I was not there, sure. and then I was elsewhere. No, no. The book can't transport you. It must have been a vision. Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Are you going to come with me? Sure. All right. All right. Ooh, that I will affect my destiny. All. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. Of course there's a, a crow. There's always crows. The book projected pierced into the body of Dr. Cold, and the detective watched helplessly as Bradley's friend carried out her inquiry. Confronted with the experiments of Fuller, she got into his office and discovered that the director of the Riverside Institute was hiding information on, if not the body of Sarah Hawkins, 
but she was discovered by Fuller. Pierce must save her before it's too late. I don't know that I know who Algernon Blackwood is. I pray that Colden is really here and alive. Okay. Well, first things first. I have skill points. Um, I want to go next. Or let's do investigation. Scary story writer from the 18... Oh, okay. All kinds of creepy things. Okay. Hey, I can pick the lock. Hey, the pastor's wife, volume one. I think we found volume two already. I have Reverend Wickwood's wife. Her husband, John, built the first Hawkins home called Hilltop at the end of the 17th century. They were among the first white colonists of the island. The previous inhabitants disappeared mysteriously three centuries earlier. An old diary. The Scylla is here. Like in the vision. Colden came this way. Too. Would I read the book? Sure, why not? This collection catalogs and classifies creatures that I had never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the bestiary of the myth, without giving details of the mythology to which it refers. Pages are covered with phantasmagorical illustrations. And this affects my destiny. Oh boy. What does that mean? What does what mean? Right. right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Picture pier. Oh, was it? Where did that go?
He said, what's this mean when he was looking at the picture of the doctor with the nurses? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking, it. never mind. Sanity's been affected again, though. Oh, creepy green fog. I'm sure that's nothing unusual. Uh. What the? No! My God! What the hell? What is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. Oh, really? Oh, wait, what do the different symbols mean in his sanity? Oh, it won't let me go. I have to know what they are. I'm gonna go this way. No. Those are just barriers then. Okay. I'm back here again. But I can't go anywhere. Um. Changed, but what? Um, I picked up a different lantern. to use a different lantern to see different things. This lantern at least doesn't seem to be using my fuel. That's good, I guess. Alright, so let's go pick up the other lantern. Alright, this is my lantern again. That's the pink lantern. Alright.
Increase your lamp's brightness. What does it do for me, though? It's leading me that way. Oh no. I'll have more fuel. Hi. Yeah, yeah, okay. Leading right there. Oh, it worked. Awaken and free me. me to go in there. There's a symbol there. lanterns. So maybe I have to find this. Oh, I have to unlock the door. Alright. Maybe see if there's anything I can find while I have this lamp. to it though. Maybe I have to get that with the other lamp. Trade my lamp again. I can go in here. I can't, still can't get to it. what I'm doing. And I unlocked this door with it.
her. Oh, I'm highlighting a symbol. Destiny has trapped me. Alright. Hello, Pink Lantern. Or did I do this too soon? to my green lantern. I think I traded too soon. Oh, it's back in there again. No, okay, it's gotta be on the other side of that wall then. Still one more wall. He's gonna get me. There he is. All right. So where is my light taking me? Is it taking me right there? It's hitting that wall, but there's nothing on that wall. There? Okay, there. He's gonna get me. Okay, there we go. Alright, where is this trail leading? Let me see this one real quick. What is here? Nothing for me to open with my pink lantern. Okay. Alright, we're moving the trail this way. Operating theater somehow, but how do I get to the operating theater? Refill my lamp. Aha. Confronting powers that surpass you. Oh boy. All right.
good news is it saves after each one. side of this. Shoot. To refill. Okay. I don't know where I am. I lost it. I just go ahead and eat me. Let's use the pink one. Let's see where in the heck I'm supposed to go. I came all the way around here. It was past the reception office. Oh, there's the door I need to open. Okay. Well, of course it's Fuller's office. Alright, so at least now I know where I'm trying to go. I'm trying to get to Fuller's office. Can I go straight ahead? No, it's blocked. I have to go the long way around. Okay. We can do this. Holy crap, people. It looks like things are back to normal. <sighs> now that we've solved that puzzle, that might be a good place to stop. <laughs> So we will stop here for tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. And I will see you all um, maybe Saturday, but definitely Sunday for more of this insanity. And we'll go from there. Have a good night.